morning everybody happy friday it's the weekend i hope everybody is excited as i am about it being the weekend i don't know the weekends always just not that like i actually do anything fun on the weekends but i'm not really having to like worry about the kids you know to and from school and all their like activities after school it's just nice to be able to like do whatever on the weekends and not worry about it so i hope you guys get to enjoy your weekend the way i'm going to um but anyways it is friday it's the weekend um so i'm getting stuff done this morning um and i'm sitting on my coffee and i'm reading my daily devotional to get me a little more you know just pumped for this morning something about um joyce myers she's always just i don't know she always just m makes me have like a better positive vibe when i read her stuff in the morning um so it's nice so i thought i'd read it with you anyways today is talking about out of the heart the mouth speaks have you ever said something and thought where did that come from the truth is it came from down inside you somewhere you had to think it at some point or it wouldn't have ever came out proverbs 23 7 says for as he thinks in his heart so is he What's in our heart or in our minds ultimately comes out of our mouths. We can find out the true condition of our hearts by listening to ourselves. If you don't like what you are saying, ask God to help you think as he thinks and pray this prayer from Psalms 51:10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right perse perse persevering and steadfast spirit within me. The power thought for today would be, I speak good things from a pure heart. Um, sorry, I got like a little mom brain fart. <laughs> you guys should see me when I'm like trying to read the kids' books and stuff. It's quite funny. Um, so anyways, yeah, so that's what that's talking about today. Um, and you know, honestly, like I believe that a million percent because sometimes we do. Like sometimes we just say things and it's like, Whoa, where did that come from but it is right like at some point or another we thought that thought and you know whether it was years ago or whatnot it does come up um and it is it always makes you like i don't know it just always makes me baffled when it happens to me and it does happen to me so i know that that's like so true um but it's true, at some point or another, you are thinking things and it's going to come out um, just what happens. So if you don't like the things that you are thinking and you don't want the things that you're thinking to ever come out, um, you know, just ask God to help you think differently. Um, and if it's things that you're thinking, you know, really work hard yourself, you know, yes, continue to ask God for the help, but really work hard yourself on trying to focus on thinking about something else. Um, you know, it is hard sometimes to do that, especially because we're like busy and stuff in our daily lives. But like the more you really like train your brain to focus on not thinking the way that you're not wanting to the more it actually is going to be easier and become habit. And then, you know, the less straining it's going to be on your brain because it's not actually going to be work. It's just, it's just going to be habit. So it is a little straining on the brain at first to remember to do it um, and to make yourself do it, but do it because it'll be worth it and you'll be thankful. So yeah, I hope you guys all have a good Friday and have a good weekend. Um, have tons of fun and stay safe and I'll chat with you guys later. Bye.